Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, we're Nick and Sarah, a British couple who left the UK many years ago in search of adventure and to live life differently. We've just spent the last six months down in Andalusia, converting a new camper van ready for the next big adventure and exploring this beautiful part of Spain. Join us in today's vlog where we have some complications with the new paperwork, we tackle the worst job we've been putting off since we collected the van, we prepare the old van for his last big adventure, and we take some time to cool off in the stunning local river beaches. Enjoying yourself, darling? Not really, no. <laughs> this is the job that we have been putting off since we collected the van, really, about seven or eight months ago or whatever it was. We've been down here all morning, not the nicest of jobs at all. Um, and we've, we've nearly finished the first stage of the rust treatment process. We've cleaned under there, we've wire brushed and sanded down all the nasty bits, the little crusty bits. Wasn't too bad. Um, and then we've done the crust. Now the crust is like the rust treatment, you just paint it on, turns the rust back to metal. And the second and third stage is the hammerite, we've got a nice grey paint to make it look nice. And then at some stage we're going to do the lanagard, which is the, the final stage of the rust treatment, and then, then it should be good. We don't want to bore you guys of all this rust treatment stuff, but we do need to update you on the whole situation with what's happening with the paperwork. Right, the paperwork, the paperwork, the paperwork. Good news and bad news with the paperwork. The good news is we got the paperwork from the company. They prepared the project. We had like eight documents sent over to us. One of them was 34 pages. In total, there's 50 pages. <laughs> I mean, what a load of it's like all the fine specs of the vehicle. It's just crazy, isn't it? Because there's all these 50 pages, but no one's actually seen the van. And then obviously there's all the stuff about, you know, the new the new reform and make of the electrical gear and what make of the water pump, all that. Basically, if you're an engineer, you can just not bother getting a real job and then just sign off these reports, create these reports for van lifers <laughs> converting their vans. Anyway, so we've got that, so that's good. And we sent that off to the inspection centre, hoping that they would just get back to us and say, right, come in for an appointment. But they emailed this morning and said there's a problem with the paperwork. Basically, it's a problem with the weight of the vehicle that the, the report doesn't match the documents of the vehicle. The, the numbers don't match in regards to the weight. Now, we had a quick look through the 50 pages uh, and we found we're hoping it's just a typo. Like the weight after the conversion was 2915 in generally the whole of the, the documents and then 2914 in one on of one the documents. Page. We've emailed back the company that created the project for us in Valencia. They're now going to contact the inspection centre. Hopefully between the two of them, they'll sort it out and we'll get another email. I'm hoping this is what it is. Hopefully this isn't the start of many other discrepancies. Anyway, guys, we're not gonna be negative. We're gonna keep it positive. Went to the shops the other day and we bought a few little things for Velwyn to help get him organized and help get him ready for the for the big off. It is happening very, 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 very <laughs> soon. Don't say that. Don't say that again. First time using it, the gas, I mean, and the kettle, actually. Um, I think it said something about you might have to make adjustments to the gas coming out thing if it's too fierce or something. I've just turned the nozzle down, so we'll have to look at that. But yeah, new gas hob, new kettle, cup of tea. I cup, think of cup of tea? tea. I know, that's we weird. We don't do tea. It's always coffee, isn't it? Is that supposed to happen? Bit of a funny smell and we got a bit panicked then and switched off a bit quick and switched off at the gas down below. Is it going to be too hot for this area? Who knows? Teething problems, we'll figure it out. <laughs> We're going to be positive, weren't we? We're going to be positive, yes. <laughs> Lots of positive things happening. That's a nice little stool, isn't it? Look at that. Much nicer than that little spotty one we had. That'll be useful for getting in and out the van. <laughs> Let's have a look what else we've got in the magic box of tricks. Oh, by the way, the boxes themselves. We've got these boxes to go underneath the big garage area. I'm not sure where they're going to go under there. There's loads of space, but they'll go in between big things. Just so you haven't got like loads of little things rolling around in there. Um, anyway. Oh, some green ones. 
Hopefully they're the right size of the cupboard. Did Nick measure the cupboards right? And choose the right baskets. I'm saying Nick because it was you who measured and said these ones are fit. I said, Are you sure they're gonna fit? He said, Yes. I said, What about these ones? He said, No. He said, These ones. I said, Are you sure, darling? Don't want to get back to the van and they don't fit. Not that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, spot on that. They're good, aren't they? And then obviously you can fit big. Oh, we're putting a shelf here, aren't we? Good. I like them. Don't like that squeak though. You got some WD-40. I actually wanted that box of tea bags inside the basket. Thank you. Okay, so we've just had a text message from the company that sorted out the project and that yes, that was the mistake, the, the, the typo that Nick noticed, the one kilogram difference um, was the problem and they're going to change that and send it directly to the ITV centre apparently so we don't have to do anything now i guess we'll just have to though sh that should be quite quick right should we just wait here we'll just wait here we'll just wait here for the response for that cup of tea <laughs> look at these now you know the reason we got these we want to do something on this wall we're thinking of putting some mirrors on it we bought some before but they were quite heavy we wanted to find really lightweight ones couldn't find any anywhere really online quite difficult Went to these little pound shop type things like Chinese bazaars they're called that sell everything and found these. The best way to do it was buy these mirrors in a really cheap rubbish frame and take them out of it. Don't break the mirror. Blinking at I've just broken the mirror. Are we going to just break every single one? I'm just going to watch you now. Well, what do you want me to do? Not break every single one. Put the mirrors away. We'll do that another time. Next bit of cheap crap we're going to show you <laughs> that's going to break while we're opening it. <laughs> <laughs> so excited. You know, you go to the shops and you go back home and like, why have we bought this? If you've been following us, you know we've got one of these in Little Vinster, our little van. And in Vinny, we have the window open, you're driving down the road, the wind blows in, and it just dries it like that. Feels quite well made, actually, to be fair. Um, she's laughing at me behind the camera. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about what we bought. Ice cube container. I think that's quite a good item to keep at the bottom of the freezer with the lid on it. That egg box, it may look like just a little piece of junk, but your egg boxes always go soggy in the fridge and fall always. apart. So there you go. <laughs> it's another riveting vlog by the Explorers. It's good that, isn't it? As you can see, we did go wild in the aisles of the pound shop. <laughs> of the pound shop. Because that's what you do, isn't it? When you get a new home, you just go to the pound shop and just buy a load of crap. Just because the mirror broke, everything else looks like junk. All this is very useful stuff. Um, but these just have ruined the whole experience now. Come on out. Come oh, on. mummy, May, can you go and sit on your bed? <laughs> I didn't. He's been in there the whole time while we've just been showing you all this junk. Seriously. He loves it. Look. As soon as we put it in there. He is a little bit hot. Do you want some water, little one? But um, anyway, we figured it out that the bathroom, when we were doing the van build, the dogs kept going in the bathroom and we just put their old bed in there. So it, it actually stays really cool in here. The van's parked in full sun, so it is a little bit warm at the moment and it's like the middle of the afternoon. Um, so yeah, we got Dizzy a new bed and that also stops the loo from moving about and just about enough room with the loo and their bed for it to sit in there. And um, we've also trained him to use the toilet, haven't we? We have. We've also trained him to jump up there <laughs> when that's open. And uh, he's quite good at it. Good for ones or twos. <laughs> good boy. Now you probably think that that must be the best thing we bought the other day at the shops. No, it wasn't. Check this out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Now I know it's just a cut loo drawer, but the reason I'm so excited is because this space, I measured it, wrote it down on my little pad, 45 by 45. Found this, guess what measurement it is? 45 by 45. 
all jokes aside, very useful things. There you go, the fridge is um, looking nice and healthy without any food in it. These, <laughs> this is actually really good because you can go and buy eggs from farmers markets and rather than needing them in a carton, you can just yeah. take that in with you. And some shops actually, our little corner shop, people take their own yeah. egg thing in. So it's actually really good. I don't know if you can go in the likes of Lidl and say, can I just, <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? But yeah. I, I'm not strong enough! Ah. <laughs> Sorry, did that hurt? I'm a celebrity, get me out of it! <laughs> oh. You're better than this, darling, you're better than this! Not very satisfying at all, wiping all like the bits where it's just grime and dirt and then I'm like, what am I doing with my life? There's certain patches which was quite rusty, so we're sanding those down and crusting them. Obviously, it's the bottom of a van. So it's going to get dirty, so we need to jet hose it. Yes, yeah, so don't think we're mad people. We did think about jet hosing first, but at the moment we can't really move the van. We're not allowed to really drive the van at the moment until we get the paperwork done. Um, and you can get fined if you get pulled over by the police. So this is why we're just doing the worst bits, as Nick mentioned. We're not cleaning under the whole van. It does actually look loads better. Mm. We've spent like a day today and then uh, maybe a couple of hours a couple of days ago. The reason why we're trying to make it look a little bit better under there is because on the last vehicle inspection we did get an observation on the rust on the, on the thing, didn't we, mm. underneath. So we think, I'm pretty sure now, looking under there, it looks so much better. Mm, Nick's actually been doing most of it under there today, bless him, I was doing a bit of supervising earlier. Sarah just washed uh, her hair, didn't she? Did I it all did nice. just wash my hair, <laughs> like, do I don't want to get it all mucky. I mean, obviously I could just wash my hair again, but when you've got dreads this long, it's not that easy to wash your hair and it takes like two days to dry. Um, so I have been getting on with a few little bits and bobs inside little old Vinsta fixing some electrics, put the new visor on the door, that sort of jazz. It's all go, go, go. Darling. Hooray! It's coffee time. Thank you. Thanks, love. Cheers. Cheers. Yum. Hmm. Did you hear me slurp then? <laughs> it's a very loud <laughs> slurp, that wasn't it? With the mic's here, so you've already... <laughs> oh. Cut! <laughs> so what do you guys think of our chairs i think we mentioned them in the last video or the video before and nick has brought these old chairs back to life by sanding them down a bit and then giving them a good old-fashioned stain i think they look brilliant now we did these shelves as well look how nice that looks we have done so much in the house seriously we stained the ladder as well um, we've just gone nuts and it's and it's good it's a really good feeling to have all the house just all neat and done and every, all the little jobs that you sort of put off over time we've had time to do them whilst we've been here you know waiting waiting now the for the paperwork <laughs> yeah so it's pretty good now i will just address the elephant in the room the elephant there. or extraterrestrial et we have actually called him et so that little alien up there and our new friend keep an eye on the house is the rio link argos 4 pro and it's a fantastic little bit of kit it's 180 degree blind spot free 4k color vision day and night camera we have got the house and the van covered by rio link with some of their other cameras, but this little bit of kit is perfect for the location where we've put it. Basically, this camera covers the whole side of our house, which is about 100 meters, like the whole alleyway. 
stretching from the bottom of the road up to the top. So I said to Nick, well, if you just look out with your human eyes like this, you kind of see like this, but with 180 degrees, you see the whole lot. Just one camera, which is perfect for us. And what's great about this camera is there's so many little features to tweak. You can change the sensitivity to, to not include pets, cars, and then up the sensitivity on people. Because it's kind of like half on our house and half on the street, we don't want a notification every time someone walks down the alley. So you can kind of blank that out. So it's only if they walk close to our wall, like really close, then we'll get a notification. This is kind of like two cameras in one. It's got mm. like two eyes. For the display, you can change the quality of it. You can change the brightness and contrast. So if you've got it in a high contrast area, you can up the brightness so you don't lose quality and lose detail in the shadows. The battery life on this is really good it's like 30 percent higher than your regular ones we've had this one up for a couple of weeks now and we haven't charged now i think it's still on like 70 something percent mm. the battery so you can get these solar panels and you just literally install that easy to install the camera's really easy to install mm. as well it's just a couple of screws we've got on the the wooden po post there you could do it into the wall or whatever and then you could also just attach that our wi-fi router is all the way in our lounge and we've got this right at the top of the wall we haven't had any dropouts at all so it's got like a really good range on it i mean i think like everyone really should have security cameras Definitely. this day and age i know it's sad to say it but i just think it's important unless you're going to be in your house the whole time and never go away you need security thank you so much to real link for sponsoring today's video and if you want to find out more about the argos 4 pro go to the link in our description there's a launch a launch a uh, discount for you guys <laughs> of 25%. It's a great bit of kit. And yeah, we're really happy that we've got the house and van secured with Reolink. It's bright already, isn't it? <laughs> Getting warm. It's going to be another scorcher, I think, down here in Andalusia. So we're just doing the little dog walk, morning dog walk, um, even though it's getting quite late. These dogs are so lazy, I tell you. So lazy. We were going to go for breakfast, actually. We were. Fancy breakfast in the square, but we've got too much stuff to do. Yeah, we have. We've kind of got something um, big happening next week. Something that involves little old Vinster. And it's all come to light just recently. Um, so it's quite important that we get little old Vinster ready for what I'm talking about. And we're not going to actually tell you what I'm talking about just now. But, but we're it's... leaving Andalusia. We... You've just told them. <laughs> we um, may be leaving Andalusia in Little Maybe. Old Vinster. Anyway, so we have to get Vinny ready. We have to do that today. We've also got some jobs on um, the big van on Velton that we want to get done, as always. Busy, busy, busy. And so, so, yeah, so instead of going for breakfast, we're working through all day again. <laughs> but we're not going to bore you too much with the DIY. No, 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 no. We don't want to pee you through that Don't again. worry about that. Um, but yeah, big exciting things happening, guys. Very big. So we'll just finish our little dog walk. Go home, get changed. Because you don't want to ruin your lovely, lovely, lovely top. Lovely, tarp. lovely, lovely. Isn't no, lovely? Just in case he has me under the van again. <laughs> oh, pardon, missus. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so we'll, we'll see you guys back at the van. So it's all been go, go, go down here today, folks. It really has. We are, we're just doing loads of jobs, all sorts of different jobs. We're getting Vinny ready for adventure. We're getting Velton ready for inspection because obviously that's going to be any day. And just generally moving stuff from one van to another. I'm doing a few odd shelves and dividers along the way and little secret toilet things. Uh... All sorts going on. So one of the last jobs of the day has been to empty all of the heavy things out of the big van and put them into the little van. 
Um, basically, when the big van gets inspected, we don't want it to be a massive weight difference to what's on the paperwork. And when we weighed the van for the paperwork, the, pa the van <laughs> didn't have many things in it. So this is all the heavy stuff that's going to have to get stored in the house until the van's passed. Does that make sense? Yes. I'm exhausted. Let's carry on though. Step away from the van, darling. Step away from the van. That's enough for today. That is enough for that today. That is enough. We quit. Now, I would say that we're going for a nice cold beer. Oh, that would be lovely, that Sat would. Sat on the roof terrace. Oh. And do nothing for the rest of the day. But we're not. What's left of it? The truth of it is the doggies are getting a little bit chubby. <laughs> <laughs> they're, getting, they're turning into senior fat dogs, basically. They're so lazy. They are so lazy. <laughs> No, all jokes aside. Oh, look, there's a cow there. He's got out, hasn't he? Anyway. anyway. <laughs> all jokes aside, they are getting a bit chubby. They are getting a little bit chubby. And I think, well, it's kind of our fault. You know, we've been doing the poo stop. Because we've been in the village and getting on with a van build, they haven't had as much exercise as they normally get when we're on the road traveling. When we're on the road traveling, we're out hiking, walking every day. And um, so yeah, a little bit lazy, but that will change very, very soon. The thing is their exercise has been cut back a little bit, but their treats haven't. Mm -hmm. So they both have put on a little bit of weight. So we don't we want to get out of that because they are getting a bit older. So we want to keep our dogs fit basically. Um, so yes, we are going to try and do more longer walks starting from today, whether we like it or not, whether we've been working on the van all day or not. Tired yet? <laughs> well, this is a good way for Dizzy to lose weight. Basically, there's loads of frogs, and I don't know if this is the time of the day when they all come in, um, but he's running up and down the shore, like legging it up and down, and the frogs just keep jumping in front of him. He's never going to get them. But every time he sees one, he turns into water, and then he keeps going. And he's just doing it back and forth. He must have done about four miles already. This is great. I even had the drone up. He never ignores the drone. In we just home. need to have some little frogs with us, don't we, when we fly the drone? Some little yeah. pet frogs just to set them off. <laughs> he loves it, loves the chase. Look at the size of this mint bush. Really healthy and lush. I picked some mint when I was down here last week, but much further down the river. Oh no, we were in the National Park. We were much further that way. And uh, little bits, but this is a whole bush. So fancy a mojito? Oh. Maybe just some new teas. <laughs> we need rum for the We don't have any rum. <laughs> mm, it smells so, so nice, nice, isn't it? Lovely. You dig a little trap for Dizzy. This is like the perfect place for the dogs, isn't it? Don't you think? <laughs> totally. Everything they could, everything they could possibly need. Sand. It's just nice like the water. beach, but without the. Well, the water's not that yeah. cold. Loads of little frogs for Dizzy. Sand for Charlie. Little bushes to go and cool down <laughs> in the shade. And yeah, no people. Look at that, guys. Charlie's just dug himself a perfect little platform, so he's level. Little raised bit at the front. Little spot for his bum. Perfect place just to watch the river. Watch Dizzy making a fool of himself. And the sun go down. You can actually stay down here all day and watch the dogs play. It's just so perfect for them. Everything they need. Very, very cute. Oh, so nice to see them play. Sorry, I've just got to keep going on. It is so nice to see them play down here. It's so much easier in the beach as well. No people, peace and quiet. Yeah, although they are going to both need a bath when they get back. Beautiful, isn't so it? So nice down here, isn't it? So many different like plants and trees and shrubbery and all sorts, and you can just hear the birds singing. 
it's really lovely. I'll just point out as well, like Charlie's got really mucky paws and this is a reason why we wanted a shower cubicle in the van. I mean, obviously it's quite nice to have a shower anyway, but one of the main things with little old Vinster, a big thing was going for hikes, especially in the winter time and the dogs just get muddy. What do you do? Like it's so hard to clean your dogs before you let them in the van. Whereas now we can just literally pick them up, put them in the shower, shower them off, dry them, done. It's gonna be amazing. See, we think the dogs are getting too old and lazy and they can't be bothered to go for long walks, but we take them out on a nice walk when it's not too hot to the beach or the river or something. They just get a new lease on life to turn into puppies again. Here you go, boys. Wait, wait. Ooh, drinking from a cup. Very Ooh. posh. Good boy. Charlie? Charlie? Nah. Nah. I think you drank from the river. Yeah. So the boys are well and truly exercised, I would say. Like an exorcism? <laughs> Exercise. <laughs> They've had a good walk. I mean, this is the biggest walk you've done for a long time. Absolutely stunning down here this time of day. Beautiful. doorstep you see right on. what why did we bother doing a van build who needs to go travel stay here film these lovely shots for you guys let the doggies play in the river and that's it that's all we need in life isn't it it's all we need don't worry we are still going traveling as nice as it is it is nice to get away too so you appreciate it when you get back you're done thinking he wants me to pick him up <laughs> Come on then, here we go. Oh. Can you pick me up too? <laughs> Come on then, done it before and I'll, I'll probably do it again. Charlie on your front, Jump. I'll get a piggyback. <laughs> Guys, cheers. Cheers. Oh, where's mine? <laughs> cheers. Half asleep. We're all a bit tired after that river walk yesterday. Not used to it. Dogs <laughs> oh are still in goodness. bed. Oh my goodness, the dogs are so out of it. Like they don't want to go for a morning pee walk or anything. They're just out of it on the sofa. They didn't even want to come up here. I was like, you want to go to the roof? And they were like, nah, not no, really. you're right. <laughs> That's what we need to do like every day moving forward now. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyways, so next week is so exciting because we are 99% sure that we are going to be away in Little Old Vinster. 99% and it's a big thing happening. Very big, big thing. thing. A scary thing actually, quite scary. I'd say more exciting than scary. Oh, definitely more exciting, yeah. Um, so there you go. So come and join us next Thursday <laughs> to find out more. Oh my gosh. It's exciting. It's isn't crazy. It? it is crazy, guys. Seriously. Belton's pretty much ready. The house is ready to be left. Well, Belton's not ready. We pretty still haven't, much we still ready. haven't got the final email for going to the test centre and checking that out, but you know, it's going to happen. All the bits and, bits and bobs are done, aren't they? Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, the van build is never quite finished though, my love. You've been told that. Lots of people have told you that. But it's done enough to get in and go off on adventures, definitely. Yeah. And little old Vinster is ready, isn't yeah. he? He's ready to go after yesterday's bits and bobs jobsies. So, so yeah. So come and join us next Thursday um, for something crazy to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, follow us for daily updates too on our other socials. And if you want a little bit more of this... 
sounds rude, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Join us on our Patreon. <laughs> Take care, guys. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends about us. Um, have a good week, and we'll see you next Thursday. Cheers. Cheers. I just want to say, can you let me know in the comments what flower this is, or bush with these flowers? Now, they do cause a mess. It's like tissue paper when they drop their leaves and you get it everywhere, but I think they're just so nice. And I want to get one for the garden, even though they probably need a lot of care. Mind you, that's not got a lot of care, that's just growing wild and, and there's one growing wild, actually growing wild there.